Adit, your exams have started? Ma'am, it is going to start. When? March 7th. March? Yes, ma'am. Okay, in on March 7th? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So you have time. Okay, let's begin the class now. Okay, it's now five minutes. Okay, today we will be revising ratio and proportions, is it? As I had told you yesterday also, we'll be revising ratio and proportions. Did you practice some of uh, integers questions? And what about the homework? Yes, Adrit, Ashwath, Lasya, what about the homework? Sorry, ma'am, I didn't do it. Why? Ma'am, actually, I was preparing about the exam, ma'am. Okay. But, okay. Which exam you had? Uh, ma'am, tomorrow is Math A exam, ma'am. It's nothing math but A. Techno, ma'am. What will come in that exam? What syllabus you have for that exam? One minute, ma'am. Okay, children, let's start now. We'll do ratio and proportions. I'm sharing the screen. Ma'am, we have plane geometry mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, our hitches. Ma'am, we have our hitches and plane geometries. Okay. Okay, now see, children, let's see here. We'll be revising ratio and proportions. Okay. Now, you all know what is ratio? What is ratio? Adrit, tell me. I'm like... Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what are ratios? Ma'am, like, ma'am, the, the, like, there will be a fraction, so we need to divide till the last number. Oh, that till the last number means the, that is the lowest form, no? That yeah. is when you reduce the fraction to a lowest form. I'm asking what is fraction? What is ratio? Ratio uh -huh. is when you compare two things or two numbers by division. Okay. One method of comparison is by subtraction. When you see which is greater, which is lesser, so you subtract and see. And there is another way of compari comparison that is division. See, it's written in front of your screen. That's why I'm asking you, are you able to see the screen? See, everything is written. I've I've underlined here. The comparison by division is the ratio. So ratio is comparing two numbers okay by division. Okay. Okay, now just for the recap of this, I'll take one here, one example, then I'll give you some sums for practice. Length and breadth of a rectangular field is 5 meter, 50 meter and 15 meter. So this is length, this is breadth. Okay. 50 meter and 15 meter respectively. 
find the ratio of the length to the breadth. Now it's saying ratio of length to the breadth of the field. Okay, this ratio you have to find out. So how will you do this? Ratio of length to the breadth. So whatever, whatever is written first, that you take it as numerator. Whatever is written next, that you take it as denominator. Okay. So since its length is written here, so you will write here lesson first 50, then you will write breadth. So this is what you are asked to find, the ratio of 50 by 50. So this is the ratio. And now you will write ratio in the lowest form. Okay. So you can see that these both, these numbers, uh, what is the HCF of these both? Five, both numbers comes in the table of five. So when I divide yes, when I divide this by five, what do I get? Five threes are fifteen, five tens are fifteen. Fifteen. So the ratio is ten is two. Ten. This two dots is called the ratio. Ten is two. And we read it as is two. Okay, we read it as is two. Okay. Ma'am, one more thing. The ratio has no unit. Hmm. Ratio has no usage. No units. No units. Okay, I'm wondering what are you saying? <laughs> yes, no units. Okay, ratio has no units. So you understood? Did you recall whatever we had studied about ratios and proportion? Are you recalling a little bit? We yes. had studied something like that. Hmm? Okay. Now, we'll do one or two examples, then we'll come to some questions. Now, next one is, see, whenever, one more thing now in this question. Whenever you are finding the ratio, you should always be careful that the unit of numerator and denominator should always be same. Okay? And if they are not same, then you have to make it same by doing conversion. Now, in this case, find the ratio of 90 centimeter to 1.5 meter. Now, this is meter and this is centimeter. So, here two quantities are not in the same unit. Therefore, we have to convert them to same units. Is it? We have to convert them now. So, what we will do? We will convert bigger one to smaller one. We can convert any one of them. We can even convert the smaller one to bigger unit also. But we will see which one is convenient for us. If I make this to bigger unit, this will become decimal point number. And if I reduce this to smaller unit, then this from here, from this number, this decimal point will go away. Okay? That I have to see. Now, 1.5 meter converting to centimeters. When to convert it to centimeters, we multiply by 100, we get 150 centimeters. Therefore, the required ratio is 90 is to 150. Okay, and the same way reduce it to lowest form. That's your ratio. Ma'am divided by 30. Okay. Okay. Yes. How do you get this number? How do you get to know that with which number you have to divide? That is by taking the yes, LCM sir. of both numerator and uh, HCF of numerator and denominator. When you take the HCF of this, whatever is the HCF, with that number you divide. Okay? Okay. All right? Okay. Now I'm giving you some sums. Let's do. Yes, okay. Let's take out a new page. Please write down the question as I am writing. Find the ratio of 30 minutes to 2 hours. Now here you know which one to take as a numerator, which one to take as a denominator. 
find the ratio of 30 minutes to 2 hours. Yes. Uh, so do this. Now you can even see here the units are not same. So you have to make them same. we have to do all the questions in its simplest form yes every ratio you must find out in its simplest form good evening ma'am good evening Dikta. Ma'am, uh, what are we discussing now? Because I went to temples or joined late. Who's this? Ma'am, Divish. What happened, Divish? Ma'am, what are we discussing now? Because I joined late because I went oh, to okay. temple. Uh, Divish, uh, we are uh, revising ratio and proportions now. You were there for the yesterday's class? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so yesterday I had to know we will be revising ratio and proportions. So that's what we are doing. So first we did some examples and now I have given some questions for practice. Okay. Yeah. We'll do. Yeah. So we'll start doing now. This was the first, these were the first questions that I've given. Done, ma'am. All? Done all? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me your answer for the first one. Ma'am, I got first one as 1 is to 40. 1 is to 14? Ma'am, 40. 1 is to 40? Yes, ma'am. Mm. 1 is to 4. Hmm. Um, I also yeah, got 1 is 40. Um, I got one no, 1 is to 40, Vikas. It will be either 10 is to 40 or 1 is to 4. One is to four. See here, look here, Adri. Um, I am um, actually, I did the um, simplification. Uh -huh. So you will convert 2 hours to minutes, no? So 2, uh, two hours when we convert it to minutes, so that will be multiplied by 60. That's 120. So 30 by 120. Zero zeros will cancel. Three ones are three fours are correct. Okay. Okay. Who has done the next one? Ma'am, me, Africa. Okay, Africa, tell me. Ma'am, I got seven is to fifteen. What's that? Seven is to fifteen. Fifteen. Is that children? Have all got the same? Yes, ma'am. Yes. See, when you convert yes, 3.5 meter to centimeters, you get 150 centimeters. Okay. So, 70 by 150 will be zeros will cancel. We get 7 is to 15. And now, further it cannot be reduced. Okay. Now, who has done the third one? Ma'am, can you wait? Okay. Lasya, what about you? Mama, I didn't did, Mama. I did 
second one, ma'am. Okay. Do have you got the same answers for the first and second? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Ma'am, can I give the second third one? Ma'am, can I give the third okay. one? Okay, show me your work. Show me your notebook, Lassie. Ma'am, I got the third answer. Okay, just a second. I want to see last year's notebook. Last year, show me your notebook. Yes, ma'am. Show me your notebook. I want to see the first and the second answer that you have done. Okay, ma'am. Seventies to fifteen. It's not seventies to fifteen, which is this is what this is. You are showing me the conversion. Hold it nicely. Hold, uh, uh, show me the lower part. Yes, that's correct. And next one, second question. Second question. Okay, Vivesh, tell me the third one. Mom, I got third one as one is to two hundred. One yes, is ma'am. Two hundred. Have all got the same? Ma'am, one is to two hundred. Two hundred. See, when you are converting one hour to seconds, in one hour we have three thousand six hundred seconds, is it? Yes, ma'am. So that will be eighteen upon three thousand six hundred. Ma'am, eighteen two zero thirty six or two zeros. Ah, eighteen two zero. So this is one by two hundred, not four hundred. Okay. Ma'am, I said two hundred. Ah, so make it two hundred. Ma'am, I just said two hundred. Yes, one is two, two hundred. Okay, I will give more. Now find the ratio of thirty-six to sixty-six in the simplest form. Find the ratio of find the ratio of thirty-six to sixty-six in the simplest form. Mom, for the third question, I got one is to two hundred and twenty-five. For the third question, no, beta. See, this is eighteen seconds. Mom, I got the fourth answer. So you have to convert one hour to seconds. Is it? So yes, ma'am. I did the same. Mom, I got the fourth. So in one hour, you have three thousand six hundred seconds. No, so eighteen upon yes, ma'am, three thousand six hundred. So Ma'am, I got the fourth. One hundred eighteen plus zero is thirty-six, and two zeros here, so you get one by two hundred, ma'am. So that's one. Ma'am, I got the fourth one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What is the answer for the fourth one? Six by eleven. Six to eleven. Yes, ma'am. Six to eleven. Six to eleven. Six to eleven. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I'll give you some more questions. Okay. Let me give you some tough one. Let me see. Okay. Let me challenge you. Mm. Okay. Now take down, note down the question. I'm reading the question. Please note down. There are thirty-five teachers in the school. There are thirty-five teachers. Please write down the question also. There are thirty-five teachers in a school of twenty-one hundred students. Please write down the question as I am writing. Find the ratio. Find the ratio of the number. Ratio of number of teachers. Teachers. To the. Ma'am, to whom shall we convert? To the number of students. One second. What you want to convert? Ma'am, shall we just uh, do it in the simplest form? There are thirty-five teachers in a school. Okay, in a in one school, there are thirty-five teachers. 
and the number of students are 2100, 2100 students. Find the ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students. What will you convert here? Is there anything to convert? No. Hmm? No, then do it directly. Ma'am, I got the answer as 7, but 7 is to 420. Okay. Ma'am, I also got the same answer. Very nice. I also got the same. Okay. 35 and 2100. Ma'am, I got different. Seven. This will go with 7. So Ma'am, I got 1 is to 60. Please see here, 35 by 2100. Just both these numbers will go with... Five, five sevens are thirty-five, and uh, no, let's take it with seven only. Twenty-one, chal Okay, seven fives are seven threes are okay. Five ones are five six blah. So this is one is to sixty. My God, one is to sixty. Huh. So children, see here. Please see those who have not got the answer. Okay, now I'll give you one more. Please no, move on. Yes. This is question number five now. Length and breadth. Length and breadth of the rectangular field. Mom, we had the same question in our UT on Friday. In your UT? Yeah, which was on Friday. Okay, so your maths exam is over? No, mom, that's UT. It's like finalism. UT, well, UT means be contest. Yes, mom. Okay, okay. Unit okay. Today we had constructions. Oh, great. How did it go? <laughs> It's like mom gave us four questions. Uh -huh. One or uh, two of them were like construct 60 and 45 degrees. Uh -huh. I did it. And then the girl next to me was asking, how can we do this? <laughs> so you told her? I just gave her a hint. Okay. So I <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. But you didn't face any difficulty in doing, no? No. Oh, that's a good part. Ma'am, I got the answer. Ma'am, for me, Saturday and Sunday. This is which question? I am just, I have not even finished writing the question and you got the answer. Hmm, great. Yes, ma'am, the length is 100. Okay, very nice. Okay, the length and breadth, others also do. <clears throat> the length and breadth of a rectangular field is given in the ratio 5 is to 3. If the breadth of the rectangle is 60 meter, find the length of the rectangle. Children, please do. Mom, say ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it's 100. Yeah, 100. All are getting the same. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have all got the same answer for this? 100? Please check. Check your answer again. See, look here. Everyone look here. See, the ratio is given here. It's given length and breadth of the... Length phi is length. Please listen first. 
Rate length and breadth of the rectangular field is 5 is to 3. That means first the length is written and below that breadth is written. Okay, so that is given as 5 is to 3. And one more thing you are given if the breadth of the rectangle, now breadth is written below. So if the breadth of the rectangle is 16, find the length. So we have to find the length. Is it? First, we have to find the perimeter. Divide 60 by uh -huh. 3. Where are you roaming? It is 12. Hmm? Advika, where are you roaming? Where are you the perimeter? Mein so, Ma'am, then. So, we need to find the length. What we will do? We will cross multiply this. Okay. So, this becomes 5 into 16 and 3 into L. Is that this is what we'll get, and now to find the value of L, 3 will come this side, and it's 5 become into 60 by 3 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is all this. One second, one second. Okay, yes, Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. so you got it? Yes, ma'am. So, like this. So, your length is 100 meters. Done? Got it? Understood, Advika? Advika understood? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no need to find the perimeter, okay? Yes, ma'am. I okay. got confused with other questions because that day my father was teaching. Okay, Papa was teaching you. <laughs> okay, let's do one more of like this kind. Okay, please write. Please write down the questions also as I am writing so that you will have it whenever you need to revise it. The ratio of income the ratio of income to the saving savings of a family is 13 is to 4. Find the expenditure. Find the expenditure if the saving if the savings is rupees two thousand seven hundred. Okay, understand the question first. Read the question carefully. The ratio of income to the saving of a family is thirteen is to four. Find the expenditure if the saving is two thousand seven hundred. Okay. Please do. Now first you have to find the expenditure. You don't know what is the expenditure. You know the income. You know the ratio of the income and the savings. Okay.
Mamy go dance. Man, can you hear us? Hello? Yes, ma'am, I got the answer. Okay. Have all gone done? Have all got the answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What is the answer? From 8,775. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Good. What did you do? What did you do? Mama, I cross multiplied. What? Ma'am, uh, 13 by 4 and uh, X by 2700. 13 by? 4 okay. and um, X, X by 2700. Yes, very good. You cross multiplied. So what do you get got after this? Uh, I got four, uh, 13 into 2700 here by 4 equals to x. So what is x? Ma'am, 8775. Okay. x is this. Have all got the same? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, I'll give you one more. Okay, now this is. I'll give you one more like this. Okay, please write. There are. Please write down. Now I'm not writing the question. I'll just give you numbers. Please write down the question. There are 20 girls. Ma'am, can you wait for a minute? Okay. Yes, ma'am, you can start. There are 20 girls. Hmm. There are 20 girls and 15 boys in a class. How many boys? 15, 1, 5. 20 girls and 15 boys. 20 girls, 15 boys in a class. First thing that you have to find out is what is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys? The ratio of number of girls to the number of boys. Okay. Then the second thing that you have to find out is what is the ratio of number of girls? What is the ratio of number of girls to the total number to the total number of students in the class. 
Ma'am got the A bit. Ma'am like the first bit. Okay, there are 20 girls and 15 boys, right? Please find out ratio of number of girls to the number of boys and then... And yes, and please do... By oh my good both. Okay. Please listen. See, these are statement sums. You have to write with the statement. Don't just give direct answer. Okay. First, write the statement. Number of girls are this much. Number of boys are this much. Ratio of number of girls to the number of boys is this much. Mom, even total strength. Yes, of course. Total strength also. Over, ma'am. Okay, Just a second, let others also do. Done this? Yes, ma'am. Have all done? 
What is the ratio of girls to the boys? Four is to three. Four is to three? And there is the question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, four is to three. Four is to three. And ratio of number of girls to the total number of students is how much? Four is to four. Uh, seven. Yes, four is to seven. Okay. Now, children, I'm not satisfied with this thing. This, this, this part, this question number. We'll do this question again. Okay. Because one more thing has to be done here. What you have found out here is the income. The ratio of income to the savings of a family. Now, this is the ratio of the income. This is income. 14 and this is saving. Okay. And income is what? Income is savings plus expenditure. No? Is it? But we are asked to find the expenditure. Okay, listen carefully. Uh, let's do it here down. And write the question again. Once again. Eight minutes, just a second. We'll do it here only. I have to write the question again. I'm erasing this part, okay? The answer that you found out was correct, okay? Divesh, 8,775 you found out, no? That was correct, but something more is to be found out there, okay? And that's not a correct approach also. Okay. Okay. Oh, here. Now see the ratio of income to the savings of a family is thirteen is to four. So let we say let the let the income be income be thirteen x and saving be four x. Is it because thirteen is to four is the ratio? So whenever we take the exact figure of this, we always multiply by x. Okay, x is some number, some variable. So let the income be 13x and the saving be 4x. We know that the income now, okay, we know that income is equal to saving plus expenditure. Okay, expenditure. Now, 13 by 4, we are already given the ratio. Okay. Uh, sorry, leave this 13 by 4. 4x is saving B. We have taken let the saving be 4x. But 4x is already given to us. Saving is already given to us. How much is that? Find the expenditure if the saving is 2,700. So the saving is given to us. That is rupees 2,700. Are you understanding? There. Hello? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma we are already given the saving 2700. That means this 4x is equal to 2700. No? So we can find out x from here. When we find x, this 4 will go on the other side and it will become divide this side. So when I divide this by 5, I will get this as 4, 6 by 24. Then 24, 3 is left. Then 4, 7 is 28, 28, and then 2, this is 5. Okay? All right? So, X is 675. 
now income now our what we have taken our income as 13 income this 13x so what we will do we will multiply 13 with the value of x okay x and i happy so we'll multiply this with the value of x so when i multiply 13 with this x value of x i will get what do you get when you multiply 675 by 13 8775 is it you will get this as rupees 8775 this is your income not expenditure okay this is the income but what is the expenditure in the question what we are asked in the question we are asked find the expenditure okay it's written no find the expenditure here so expenditure will be now, in this case, expenditure is here. That means income minus saving. If I do, I will get expenditure. Therefore, expenditure will be. And what is the meaning of expenditure? Expenditure, the expenses that, that we are doing. If you are going for some shopping, whatever money we are spending, that is called expenditure. Okay. Saving is how much we are saving for our future use. That is saving. How much we are spending? We go for shopping, we, we give, um, whatever we do, we, we ex spend our money. So that is expenditure. Okay. So expenditure is always income. You, under, you know what is income? How much we are earning? That is income. So expenditure is income minus saving. So what is our income? Income is this much? 8,775. And how much is saving? 2700. This was already given to us. So when I subtract this number from this number, what will I get? Please subtract and check. 5706. Is it? So this comes out to be rupees 6075. All right? Yes. Are you getting? Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. I hope all have understood. Hmm? So, because since the word since yes. the word here income was given, that's what made me thought that this is not expenditure. In place of income, if it had been written expenditure, the ratio of expenditure to the saving of the family is 13 is to put it. And you would have done it directly. 13 by 4 is to x by uh, what is this saving. Then you would have done directly. Because this is also expenditure. This is also expenditure. If this word would be expenditure. But since this word is income, then you had to do it like this. Because expenditure is always income minus saving. Then only you will get expenditure. No? Okay. Have you understood? Shall I give you one more question of this type? Can I give you one more question of this type? I'll show you one more. Let's do one more. Okay. Please write the question here. The ratio of income to saving income to savings of a family of a family is 11 is to 2 find the expenditure please write down because class time is getting over so even if I close the class then you should do the sum. Okay. It's on the same lines. Only thing is the numbers are changed. If the saving is rupees 1520. Okay. Now it's saying the ratio of income to savings of the family is 11 is to 2. Okay. This is income and this is saving. 
11 is to 2. Find the expenditure if the saving is rupees 1520. So what will you do in this case? First you will take, let the income be 11x and let the saving be 2x, is it? Because they are given us in the ratio form. Let the income be 11x and saving be 2x, is it? Is that? And we also know income is equal to income is saving plus expenditure. This also we know. Okay. So, and we are already given, as we have taken savings as 2x, we are already given the saving also. That is rupees 1520. So we can write here given saving is equal to rupees 1520. Therefore, we can say this 2x is equal to 1520. We can say this from here we can find our value of x. We can do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, which okay, comes out to be rupees 760. This is your value for x. Now, from here, you can find your expenditure. Okay. So, first expenditure, to find the expenditure, you will find income. Therefore, income was taken as 11x, no? 11x, that means 11 into 760, which is equal to, you multiply and see what do you get? I think it's 8360. So therefore, your expenditure will be what? Expenditure will be income minus savings. This is income minus savings. Okay. So, income is 8360 minus your saving is what was the saving? 1520. So when you subtract this, whatever answer you get, that will be your expenditure. So this is 6840. Getting? Have you understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, if you want to again see, you can see the recording also okay but please practice so for today children i'm winding up the class please go through it again and practice more in tomorrow's class we will be doing the proportion part okay and by the time you have your evening test also send the test so bye till then good night bye ma thank you ma'am bye 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 Okay.